He speaks of the oneness of all the believers and he links this unity with the mutual indwelling of the Father and the Son. Dear brothers and sisters, today is Wednesday, 19th of May. Uh, we are coming closer to the Pentecost, which will be celebrated next Sunday. Before the Pentecost, before the Paraclete descends, Jesus returns to his Father. Jesus says, Holy Father, I will remain in the world no longer. I am coming to you. The Lord gradually is preparing his disciples for his departure. Hence the Gospel reading is taken from the last part of the farewell discourse of Jesus. We are in the 17th chapter of John. Saint Cyril called this chapter as Priestly Prayer of Jesus. As the High Priest of the Order of Melchizedek, Jesus begins his priestly prayer by addressing his Father. He stands as a mediator between heaven and earth, between the Father and the humanity. He prays for the Apostles. He prays for all the believers. What is the content of this priestly prayer of Jesus? What are the petitions that he made? What did he pray for? Firstly, he prayed for the unity among the believers. Jesus prayed, Father, that they may be one as we are one. He speaks of the oneness of all the believers and he links this unity with the mutual indwelling of the Father and the Son. This oneness, this unity includes both a unity of being and a distinctness of the persons. He wants his followers to remain united, be a sign of unity in the world. Dear friends, every year we pray for the Christian unity during the Unity Octave Week in the month of January. But sadly, year after year, the divisions in the church increase. We need to live this unity as the early Christians lived with one heart and one mind. With that koinonia model, with that communion model, we all need a spiritual conversion of heart, a sense of humility to accept as brothers and sisters. Secondly, Jesus also prayed for the protection. He prayed, Holy Father, protect them by the power of your name. My prayer is that you protect them from the evil one. Thirdly, he prayed for the consecration of the apostles in truth. Father, sanctify them by the truth. Consecration means setting someone or something aside from the profane and making that person or thing holy for God, holy person for God. Jesus is the consecrated one. He is the holy one. He is pure. He is blameless. And now he wants his followers to be holy, consecrated, sanctified. He consecrates us for a mission to be witnesses. Dear brothers and sisters, as Jesus concluded his earthly life, he prayed for his disciples. He shares with them the joy of his consecration. He entrusted them to his father's care. And because of that, he has a sense of fulfillment, a sense of accomplishment in his mission. Amen.